Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. Today we are going to learn implementing two-factor authentication with Node.js and the OTLib. Previous video is basically about the secret key. On the behalf of the secret key, we are getting the OTP with the Google Authenticator. Now we are using the QR code. Okay, the previous video we haven't used the QR code. We are using the, and that is secret key. On the behalf of the secret key, on the Google Authenticator, we are generating the codes. Now we're going to scan this code and it will generate the OTP in the Google Authenticator. Then we are going to verify that OTP. We are going to learn in this video. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So what we have to do the changes. So you have to install the QR code over here in this package, right? So here we go with this one. So we have express ES, EGS and uh, let's go to the app.js what we required. So here you can see that we require the QR code. Okay, so we have to install this one. <coughs> So let's install this one npm i qr code okay install this one right now run the app so here you can see if i go to the app.js file let's go and check first app.js file so here we additional that is qr code we have added view engine that is egs we are using express url encoded extended false generate a secret key for the user with the help of this one authenticator generate secret after that, generate the OTP for the user with the help of this one, right? Next, we have the verify the OTP generated by the user. So here it will going to verify that OTP. Now we are going to generate the QR code with the help of this function. Generate QR code. Okay, QR code data to URL. So it will generate that one code. Okay. Next, we have to, uh, this is the index file where we are loading the index.js file okay with generating the generate the secret key and the qr code secret okay then this is verify that's the otp that is generated by the google authenticator and whatever we are adding it's same or not then the server on which it is listening index.egs file we have to change that is qr code In here we have the verify we have to just show the image first then verify function that the verification of that qr code is good or not or it's valid or not then the result.egs file for validating then we are setting the validate or not okay so let's go to the browser and check this is our authenticator app now authenticator app uh, qr code is changing now going to add this one scan qr code so i'm going to scanning the qr code right now from the google authenticator okay now it's added into our google authenticator now i'm going to validating this one let me go let me it is now uh, like i think one more second is left to validate let me generate first automatically it will generate time based it is there now i'm going to add this is eight three three seven one eight now verify token that otp is valid right now i'm going to do with another one here okay so maybe the this one is another OTP. Let me scan this one. If it is the same or not, I think authenticator code is saved. So let me add this one. So five, I think it is invalid now because the time is goes up. Now I'm going to add that is one, four, nine, two, eight, seven is there. I'm going to add six. What it says invalid, right? If I go to add the seven, then what will happen? OTP is valid. So this is how you can verify two-factor authentication with the help of OTLib, QR code, and Google Authenticator. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.